10 things to do in Thailand. Meeting new people. <laughs> Thailand is one of the best places in the world to meet travelers and like-minded individuals that are willing to share with you their stories, their culture, their values, their lives. We met people that we had to speak French with that didn't speak English. We met guys from Australia, we met people from all over the world. This is how we do things in Australia. <laughs> Make new friends. He's got Crocs on his feet and he's happy. Oh, he's got, got Crocs, Crocs on his feet. feet. Very very happy. Getting your diving license. Koh Tao is a wonderful place to do this because there are so many schools that will take you out. They do all different types of courses from beginner to advanced. Uh, they take you night diving. We saw all different kinds of barracuda, groupers, cuttlefish, colors of coral. It was, it was amazing. It was, it was one of the favorite traveling experiences I've ever had. Khao San Road in Bangkok. This is probably where you're going to start out and where you're going to stay. If not, that's where you should stay. This is where all the tourists kind of start out. And during the day, the whole strip is full of shopping and little shops and stores. At night, it turns into a bar nightclub strip. You can still shop at night, but at night, there's little scorpion and bug trays that you can go and you can try. Oh, there's tentacles are. I just ate your friend. That's not very nice. I know, but it happens. And you can have a good time with all the tourists who are just getting to Thailand and just getting excited about it. <laughs> Suits. Give it to me, girl. Much good. Oh, 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 oh. Tons of places all over Thailand that offer cheap suits. And I'm talking like $150 for a full five piece suit. You could be my chumak chalo. It takes a couple days. You're gonna go there, you're gonna get fitted, you're gonna come back the next day, they're gonna fit you again, and then you pick up your suit in a couple of days. So allow yourself a couple days in one place to get the suits. Since they're cheap, you can get ridiculous colors and just funny suits if you feel like it. Do not go drunk. Oh. You can, but your suit might be questionable. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Oh. Time massage. Getting quadra massages side by side. There are at least two different kinds you can get. The Thai massage is kind of where they fold you and crack you. Not for everyone, but it can help. And then the other massage is just a regular oil massage, very sensual and relaxing. The thing is that they're really, really affordable. You're looking at maybe like seven or eight bucks for a good half hour to an hour massage. If you hear somebody say, that is going to be a more sexual massage, resulting in a happier ending for you. Some people would like it, some people would not. Just know what means. I'm serious. <laughs> Rent a scooter or a motorcycle. Inadvertently also, learn how to treat an infection. When you rent a scooter and you crash, you're gonna get burned and you're gonna end up getting infected because that's what happens in all East Asian countries. So good. You're gonna go to a store, drug store, they're gonna give you over-the-counter drugs and that's gonna get rid of your ooey gooey green pussy infection. I can't believe you didn't that. see that there. Oh, please do, just see I saw it, it just, I like, couldn't turn. <laughs> Rent a boat for a day. Oh! We rented a fisherman's boat with his son for a full day. We did all types of fishing. Parker got inked by a cuttlefish. That was a pretty interesting experience. What the f is that thing? <laughs> We went cliff jumping, we went snorkeling, we had a, a little barbecue on the boat. We didn't really catch anything big, but rent a boat for a day. Uh, <laughs> Parker, what did you say? <laughs> it was big! It felt awesome! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that fish got so tasty! Thai food. <laughs> pet pet means hot. Most of Thai food is hot. You might want to say no pet pet. <laughs> Curries, red, green, yellow, pad thai, tom yam soup. You can get fresh coconuts right on the street and they're delicious. Give it a good slice. So if you like coconut water and you get a little spoon, you can eat them out. You get <laughs> coconut ice cream, shakes. Shakes everywhere of all fruits and vegetables. Super healthy, delicious. Try everything. What did you order? It's called a volcano chicken. For obvious reasons. Oh, amazing. It's like Elephants. 
A very popular activity among tourists in Thailand is to go and visit an elephant temple or sanctuary. We recommend that you do so as well. However, you should look into which one you're going to because a lot of them offer elephant rides and we've learned very recently that it is actually an inhumane practice. The straps and the carriages on the elephant's back all day, every day, is actually very bad for them. A lot of places know this and a lot of places exploit this. So if you want, go and feed them and play with them and bathe them. But don't ride them, it's not good for them. Surviving the full moon party. So it all starts off, you get body painted and face painted like the rest of the entire city there doing it. And then you start drinking buckets. Welcome to Thailand, baby. And then after a little while, you make your way to the beach where the music's bumping and the people are partying. You need to pace yourself because you're supposed to be there until sunrise. That's what most people do. What I would recommend is don't get hit by flaming fire ropes. of the Emerald and Jade Buddha. Why are we in this? I, don't, I thought it was a good idea. The ping pong show. Parker and I both screamed. Most people are going to do the ping pong show, whether they're proud of it or not. I used the girls beside me as shields. shields. And ping pong paddles. They used up. me and the two girls on the other side of me as a shield. They were like, I used shield like, for what? They were f f trying to hit the ping pong balls as they shot at their faces. It also, subscribe here. I literally like, I crossed my legs, I like held my head, I had the paddle on my face, and then like one shot right at me, so bah! Like, <laughs> and watch the raw footage. Yeah. The ping pong show is disgusting. It's also mind blowing. Some of the tricks and ridiculous things that those women, or men, I don't know which ones, you know, sometimes they do some surgery. It's just absurd. Razor blades, chickens, live animals, like it, it you know, open a Pepsi bottle. <sighs> Nightmares. We went in, in Bangkok, this is like our third day in Thailand, and walked out of the ping pong show, Parker and I and, and a few other new friends that we had met, and everyone was kind of shaking. We were like, okay, let's go to 7-Eleven and, you know, get a, get a Coca-Cola and a, a sandwich. Oh, what were those called? What were those sandwiches called? Toasty! They're so delicious. Walk out of the 7-Eleven, Parker looks down at his feet and he's bleeding. He realizes he got cut at some point inside the ping pong show. That's not a good place to get a wound, I tell you what.